Are you 100% honest to your therapists at all times? Z. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. No, no, I'm not. Actually, no, I'm not. Let's go home. Hey guys, welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Uh, what's up, Tillies? What's up, Tillers? Wait, Tillers. We uh, we forgot to Tilly last week. We forgot to Tilly. No, no, no. We Tilly in spirit. We we Tilly in spirit. We did. Um, because uh, Corn Diddy, Zach Cornbell, uh, two episodes ago, coined the what? What are the wild, wild ones? Wild ones have been upgraded to Tillies. Hey, I heard you were liked the Tillies. What song is that? Hey, hey, or do you wear a wild one? Hey, I heard you will. That exact thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. right, with Tilly's now. Anyway, back by popular demand, no guests. No guests, yeah. Honestly, like, are you not like a little flattered that people were just like really down with just Not the, kidding, us? it was oh my the God. ego boost yeah. neither of us needed. No, 100%. Well, I, I feel as if maybe that you didn't need, maybe that I actually needed a little bit. It's the ego beast. Ego beast. beast. <laughs> the ego beast that Lauren needed. It's the ego beast that I needed. Um. So yeah, thank you for, requesting more podcasts with just that's that's so nice. That is quite nice. So nice. It really, when you think about it, pretty it's nice. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not that I am, um, I, I do enjoy, I think I enjoy hanging out with people for an hour, mm -hmm. but it definitely is harder. Oh my God. Yeah. hundred percent. But it's harder in different ways. It's, it's harder in different, it's completely harder in different ways. It's also fun in different ways too. Yeah. It's just a different dynamic for sure. Yeah. I think it stresses me out because we do pods during the week now. Uh -huh. And I get done with this like 12 hour, day, not even done. I get three fourths of the way done with a, like 11 hour day. Then we have to go to the pod. And then I have to go like do all the boring, just logistic shit and then go back to work a little bit. So that's what stresses me out. But then you always know it's a good pod when I don't go back to work and I just hang out until I fall asleep. Which is probably what you need to work on your work-life balance, right? Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know what though? We made a good decision by moving it to a weekday recording because I feel like on Sundays, we, um, Jeremy has really established the terms sit around Saturday. That I haven't participated in, in far too long. And or sit around Sunday, sometimes yeah. both. I mean, sometimes preferably both. sit around every day that starts with an S. Right, Saturday, yeah, exactly. And I was like, is there any more, is there any more that start with a sit around? <laughs> and so sometimes it was hard to rally at the end of a sit around Sunday because I don't know, Sunday is my favorite day of the week, which is, I feel like not very common. What do you mean? It's my favorite day of the week. Why would that not be common? I don't know, because like Sunday Scaries, like that's a real thing. Yeah, There's a like, whole ass brand called Sunday Scaries. Right, but that's like, but that's toward Monday. Yeah, but people in anticipation for Monday usually don't like Sunday. Mm, yeah, I guess. I also, my lazy energy is highly contagious, mostly because I'm someone who likes to um, uh, push my lazy on other people. So like oh, if yeah. I'm being lazy, yes. I'll order 94 meals on Postmates. Yep. I'll watch a movie that's just interesting enough, just loud enough for everyone to kind of like have to enjoy or at least sit through. Uh, I don't really move. I'm not really interested in moving. Hey, our McDonald's got tore down, our local McDonald's. What do you mean our local McDonald's got torn like down? Like our closest McDonald's got torn down. Why? I don't know. Were you consulted about this? No, and honestly, I'm offended. The one right over there? Yeah, yeah, the one like right near your house, like the closest McDonald's. Not that I'm sure we couldn't find another McDonald's in the two mile radius, but okay. our when we postmate from McDonald's, it comes in 60 seconds. Like it is so fast. When I lived in Beverly Hills for uh -huh. years, I, there was like a four year period where I just didn't have McDonald's because I don't think there's a McDonald's in Beverly Hills. There was a McDonald's literally like three blocks away from your house. I feel like you just lived a different lifestyle pre that, me. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's lot. I'm talking about the other Oh, the side, other yeah. one, the other one. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel like we now every once in a while go, you guys want McDonald's and then order a buffet. I, who normally- um, I order the buffet. Yeah, you were the buffet. I, maybe I'm weird. No, I'm definitely weird. Um, I don't want to share my food or portion with anyone. Jeremy has, if we break up, you can just assume it's because I took too much of his food. I think there could probably be a few other things like me being me and you being tired of me. But besides that, I just, if you're going to take a bite, uh -huh. totally acceptable. Yeah. Let me get you another one. Let me just get your own. I don't want my own. No, I know. I know. It goes back to, and I watched, what, I don't know if, it, if that's two weeks back now, a week of, of a week ago's pod on tape. And mm -hmm. I definitely did say- You just said on tape. <laughs> like the old fucks that we are. 
We're still, <laughs> oh my God, the Gen Z like, audience doesn't even know guys, what that means. Jokes on you guys, we're, we're running 35 millimeter. We got, we got tape running right now. Yeah, so we, we record our <laughs> podcast on film and then cut that. Oh we cut God. the film. I watched the um, recording back of last week and I definitely was 100% incorrect and essentially said that you enjoyed doing that I don't enjoy doing stuff with you as much as vice versa. Uh huh. I'm, my feelings are still hurt, just so you know. Well, I would, first off, I was wrong. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, then I wasn't wrong. <laughs> and two, that applies to food. Am I the only one who doesn't enjoy sharing their food and just wants to have their own portion? No, no, no. I mean, have you ever seen that? That's not like a meme, but it's like a joke photo where it's like uh, the, my girlfriend's not hungry special where well, it adds like that thing. You know what I think it is, is that when I, like, I don't want to order a whole side of fries because one- You don't want to want a side of fries. Well, no, I, I do want to want a side of fries because I, I do, that's really what I want. But I, it's like a portion control because I know that I'm going to feel like shit after and then mm. I don't want to eat a whole side of fries. I want right. to want a whole side of fries, but I don't want to eat a whole side of fries because it'll make my stomach hurt and I'll regret it afterwards. Not because of the caloric intake, but just because it'll make me feel like shit. And so- if you get a medium or a large fry, right. I can, you know, like, because I know that I'm in a near death situation by also taking food from your side. If I only take a small little helping of fries, one, I won't feel like shit after. And two, we hopefully will still have a relationship after. Hmm. You follow? Uh, I'm tracking. Okay. I hate it. Well, welcome to a relationship with me. People are like, yeah, maybe you should have, have some guests. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, riveting conversation. Also, I just realized that we are, neither of us are wearing the gray sweatpants and um, we not included, but they are available on shop.wildtail9.com. I looked at some sizes, almost out. Gone? Yeah, and actually by the time this thing's out, probably gone. Uh, I'm too sensitive to like be a creator, honestly. Like, <laughs> and this is, this is going somewhere, I promise. But like, so uh, I, Jeremy handles all the tech things, like literally everything tech related. Um, and I do a lot of the design and the merch stuff. And so like the merch has been a project that I've been working on forever. And when I tell you that I went through the, uh, so many lengths to find the right gray sweatpants, because one, the last year and a half, everyone's been in sweatpants. So they're in crazy high demand. Two, everyone loves gray because gray sweatpants wean. And that just makes sense. Oh, okay. um, well, I don't know. all right. Keep going. And that just makes sense. Okay. And it's it's so it it uh, I'm just so sensitive and I just you just can't make everyone happy. And it makes me so sad because all I want to do is make everyone happy. Wait, why? Okay. So so for example, okay, so the first issue is that um like you can never be size inclusive enough. And okay. it's all I want to be is have like the maximum size inclusivity. And so like when you catch heat for that after, you're like, but you don't know all of the struggles that I did to get what we have now. But we were, so why are you upset? Why, what, what? Didn't we have enough sizes? No, I would have loved to have an XS and then even an XXS, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, there's, I, I mean, oh. I, I was the small person and that's how I learned how to alter clothes because stuff never fit me. You were the small person? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was the tall person. Right. But not wide, just tall. So everything looked bad. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right. extra medium. Yeah. And now it's kind of like a extra large and then in awkward places, other places, yeah. 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 And, and I mean, I think with the sweatpants, it's great because like you can wear them oversized and like that's the, yeah, that's the fit. They're like relaxed fit. So it's not right. something that needs to be like so tight. Like a t-shirt is a little more, you don't have as much like flexibility there, but I just, I'm so sensitive and I try so hard and you just can't make everyone happy. And it makes me so sad. Why are we trying to make everybody happy? Ugh, because I'm a fucking people pleaser, Jeremy. Hey, I'm I in the you, wrong profession, honestly. I genuinely, <laughs> I hope if you wanted to get one and you were a size and it was there, it was there. And if it wasn't, next time, great. Catch you on the next just, Look what I just did. It's okay, you know? I'm just not programmed that way. Uh, but the dad hats, uh, one size fits all. One size fits most. One size fits most. I don't, there's the people out there, I'm sure that probably it doesn't fit. Maybe like babies. Little babies. Little babies. Or like, I've got some friends with the thick heads. No, I feel like the thick heads are probably, that could nah, be. Nah, I know some friends with some boulders. Boulders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. So anyways, um, terrible uh, promotional supporters here. Neither of us have our gray sweatpants on, yeah. um, but they, they are live and the pictures are very cute. And oh my God, did you see in the one um, photo that I accidentally left? So Jeremy uh, had one size too big when we got the sample sizes and we did the photo shoot. And so we just used, um, so basically like the sample size is like the ones that you approve for like the placement of the text. And so it's like 
it's a very limited option because you're approving them before you do like the big order. Um, so anyways, he had a size too big and I had to use clothespins and butterfly clips right. down the entire back of Jeremy's legs when we did the pictures. And in one of the photos, you can see the fucking clip hanging out and everyone who watched the vlog obviously like found it really funny. I legitimately did. Like didn't see that. Oh, great. Love that. Like in the promo photo, you can see it? Yeah, you can see it in the promo photo. No, on the couch, not on the couch. In the um the pink with the pink background where standing? it's like, yeah, with the standing one, you can see the, the butterfly no. clip at the back. Yeah, you can. Really? Look on your it's like uh just above the ankle. It's a black and silver one. <sighs> what a rookie mistake. That would have been like literally the easiest Photoshop job. Um I know that's when like, how did you not see I that? I know, I know. I wish I had so much stuff going on this week. Bro. Oh, and we gonna get into that because it has been a busy ass week. <laughs> I know. That's not even like- It's bad. That Starbucks cup in Game of Thrones bad. Yeah, that, that Starbucks cup in Game of Thrones bad. Yes, 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 yes. I know. Holy yes. shit, that's funny. I know. It's, wow. I know. That's hilarious. I know. I know. It's on the website and everything. It's it's already out in so many places. I'm like, it is what it is, baby. <laughs> well, that's showbiz. That's showbiz. That's a Starbucks cup in Game of Thrones, baby. How does anybody have time for kids? Um, like at what point in time are we gonna like find enough time to nurture a child? Okay, well here's here's how we thought about this. Uh, um, very be, being very clear, I've never thought about those kids. But when I did think about getting moose, I really was like, I want a dog so bad, and I'm only going to get more busy. So like, I need to find time because this is important to me. And I feel like you'll probably go through another round of that, um, which I currently don't feel the slightest bit uh, of right now towards children. But I feel like when you have like that burning desire to have offspring, you probably have a similar feeling, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, that is so far from my uh, general priority or even interest or even, like I, I haven't even, I genuinely haven't thought about it. The only thing I've thought about is the fact that like, there's no world where I would have enough ch time to like remotely raise a child that wasn't like, does dad love me? I mean, I feel like that. I, I'm like, does Jeremy love me? <laughs> no, but it's true. Like you, it's it's a massive time commitment. And do they have like self growing ones? You can just like, um, uh, like. Did you ever see I, this? Honestly, now that I'm thinking back to it, I'm about to voice this out into the world. Is probably fake and is something that I fell for, like on Facebook. That's not a real thing. Uh -huh. But I think it was like some kind of prototype that they were testing out to see if you could like grow a baby in like this little pod. Okay. And it it literally looked like a like a baby bassinet, but it had the um like a little. It looked like a little a mini rocket ship pod, but like bassinet style, where it was like kind of you know. Like Are we still talking about children? Yeah. Okay. And so then you would you would put the the embryo or the fetus or whatever. There's hair so stuck to me everywhere. You would put the the little fetus embryo thingy in the pod and it would just grow by itself. The child. Yeah. What what the fuck are you talking like about? Like a like a sea monkey or a chia pet. I am <laughs> woefully. I th this ad didn't hit me. It did. What do you mean? Oh, I'm oh, not, I'm oh. not on this TikTok. Yeah, you're not. On, no, it wasn't on TikTok. I saw it forever ago on Facebook, which also leads me to believe that it probably was not true. Canva Pro is the easy to use design platform that has everything you need to design like a pro. It's a quick, easy and affordable way to design whatever you need. No matter what you're creating and sharing, Canva Pro has everything you need in one place, including a collection of over 75 million premium photos, videos, audio, and graphics. Lauren, put down the script because I actually have real world experience using this product. The last, I don't even know, two or three times I've applied for a job, I have gone to Canva personally and used their resume formats to come up with this really cool, sleek, unique design, mostly because I'm not exactly the most design um, proficient individual, but Canva made it super easy for me to do that. My favorite feature is the content scheduler. You can schedule content to post to eight different social media platforms. It really helps me remember to post my graphics for merch and new episodes. Trust me, when things get really busy over here, it can be easy to forget to share my bomb ass creations with you all. Okay, reel it in. So, but seriously, Canva Pro comes in handy for many people, whether you are a student trying to upgrade a project or if you're trying to start your own business venture and need to create some advertisements for it. Design like a pro with Canva Pro right now. You can get a free, 45 day extended trial when you use our promo code. Just go to canva.me slash wild to get your free 45 day extended trial. That's complicated. So hear, hear me again. That's canva, C-A-N-V-A dot me, M-E slash wild, canva.me slash wild. 
Today's sponsor is one of our favorites at Wild Till Nine. A drum roll, please. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Was, that was not good. That was not good. <laughs> Better help. Better help is professional counseling done securely online. If you notice something is interfering with your happiness and you're feeling like you need someone to talk to, Better Help is the place to go. Better Help will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Since they are committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. BetterHelp truly makes it easy for you to get what you need. You can schedule weekly video or phone sessions with your counselor and you will never have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room to do so. Lauren, I feel like you have a lot of experience in this realm in particular with BetterHelp. I always say that finding the right counselor is kind of like dating. It takes a few tries to find the right one. And I think I went through two or three until I found the right person for me. And it was super, super easy to change counselors. That's weird because I always knew it was you. I never had any other doubts, nor did I have anybody else that came along. Hmm. Hmm. It was always you from the beginning. Okay, so BetterHelp has professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBTQIA plus matters, grief, and self-esteem. With BetterHelp, you don't have to limit yourself to counselors located near you. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash WT. Nine. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash W-T-9. Ooh, let's hit some drama so we can get some views. Austin McBroom of Rice, who's gonna win? So I, um, I, I am 50-50 on whether I think this fight will actually happen. What do you mean? Um, I have a little bit of insider info. Well, by the time this comes out, it'll already have been done. It's this weekend. Yeah. Oh, so by next pod, it will ha will or will right. not have happened. So make your prediction as to, so you don't think it's gonna happen? I kind of don't think it will. Wait, why do you think it's not gonna happen? I, so some insider insight um, is that the logistics of it have been wildly unorganized. Yeah. Um, so I'm tell, Okay, so the, the fight between TikTokers and YouTube isn't a clean run ship? <laughs> a surprise! <laughs> So I will be interested to see, I will say though that I feel like the digital industry can pull shit together real quick. So maybe it will, maybe it won't, we'll see. And to be fair, I do know the some of the tech platforms involved. Yeah. Wouldn't call that a, I don't know, clean run ship. Right, yeah, so um, we'll see, we'll see. And also too, I think TikTok was originally like really pissed off that it, they were using the word like TikTok versus YouTuber. Well, they sent them a cease and desist. Yeah, yeah, about it. And so I wonder if they'll, I don't know. I just feel like everyone involved and maybe because Logan was just like training way harder, but I feel like everyone involved is not showcasing the same type of like commitment to it. <laughs> you know. And like in their defense, like, they're fighting other digital creators, like not like 50 and O like world-class boxers. Like, so I understand like the, uh, the, the level of intensity is a little different, Yeah. but, um, but like, are we gonna watch? Like, fuck yeah. We're definitely gonna watch. I think we watch a lot of, of like boxing and, and MMA lately. Babe, I'm a boxer. I'm a bo boxerette. I'm a boxing bitch. I think we'd just be boxer. Yeah, I'm a boxer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. not really. I box, I box twice a week for fitness. Um, but we talk about this all the time. I want to get into a fight so bad. Yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily like something I want to put out in the world. I want to get into a fight so bad. Lauren, you have like <laughs> noodle arms. I know. You're sensitive. I just, I just, oh, I'm so sensitive. I know. I think your nose would break at the, the wrong yeah. breath of wind. Yes, yes, yes. All that yeah. is true. I just want to know what I would do in a situation where like, and maybe, maybe I don't even want to get into a fight. Maybe I just want to punch someone. You know what I mean? But like not have them punch me back. Like I want them to say something like really mean mm -hmm. or like do something fucked up. And then I get to like, like it is worthy of the punch uh -huh. and then getting to hit. And like maybe my hand would break I and news. I would hate this, what? Let me stick around for the year or two. You'll get that option. Literally Mia always is like, bitch, do it, do it. Hit me? Do it, hit me, do it. Oh, yeah. Mia? Oh, <laughs> yeah. a lot of people want me on the pod. Yeah, a lot of people want me on the pod. Mia, bitch, I know you were listening to this right now. You're probably in the car or on the treadmill or something or walking corn. Please come guest on the pod. Oh, no, 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 no. A lot of people want me on the pod. I tried to get me on the pod for a little bit of a segment. Yeah. And she was- She said no. I'm not kidding. I was able to get <laughs> answers from like 34 dudes who I haven't talked to in years. And Mia- Oh, for that one episode. No, but it'd Mia be, was, it'd be and, different. Like a time commitment of her here would be totally different than no. a text back because get it. Mia text back in either three days or three seconds. Mia was MIA, pun yeah, intended. Yeah, Mia was MIA. Um, really? Nothing? No love for that? Uh, sorry. I don't know. I just, I've been friends with Mia for so long that it's been, you weren't the first to say it, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> someone, uh, someone in on my video, oh, when I asked for video ideas um, for my channel uh -huh. and they were like, oh, can we just see a video with Mia? Like, if we're not gonna see her on her channel. Like, can we just see her on yours then? Which is the nicest thing ever. When's honestly. Mia gonna come back to, to the, the YouTube world? I don't know, soon I think. She's honestly, and I'm gonna put, Mia, I'm gonna put you on blast right now and tell everyone to hold you credible or how, hold you accountable that Mia has filmed a few videos oh. and they just haven't seen the light of day yet. So Mia, I know you're listening, post your videos and everyone else that's listening, tell Mia to go post her videos. So um, we've had like 20 people in our house at all times for the last five days. And um, so Mr. Kate has been here, Mr. Kate, her crew and Joey and Moon. Oh my God, honestly, I really don't like kids, but I <laughs> like Moon a lot. What? Yeah. Do you think parents, um when you, at least when I see a kid mm -hmm. and he's not actively or she's not actively um, pissing me off, I'm like, I don't really like kids, but that, that's a cute kid. Do you think that helps or do they, they're just like, thanks for the info, big guy? I mean, when someone's like, I don't like dogs, but I love your dog. I'm like, oh, my dog is so special. So okay. I, I feel like, I feel like that, that wins them over a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, don't like kids, but love Moon. Moon is so cute. He's cute. And so his vocabulary, because he like gets to come on so many shoots and stuff is the funniest and most interesting thing ever. Cause I feel like kids, you know, like they learn about their surroundings. So it's like, oh, dog, cat, mom, dad, crayon, apple. And Moon picked up my mini tripod and said, gimbal, which is like the name brand of a really expensive camera stabilizer, which is like his vocabulary is just so Wait, funny. Gimbal's the name of a brand? I thought gimbal was like the like the like what you call. I thought gimbal was a gimbal. Oh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Or is that like? Uh, I thought it was like a uh, like I thought it was like DJI Hero Two gimbal or something. Oh, I, thought, I have no I idea. I thought that's like like what, a Kleenex is a tissue. Oh, like a gimbal is like a DJI DJI. I, thought, I don't know. Fuck, I don't fuck, know. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. that's anyway. So Moon, Moon knows what a gimbal is, and it's very cute. That's why, like, I like every time I swear by a kid, I'm like that. I'm gonna be the one that taught him fuck. Yes, or shit, yes, because they're or just damn. they're like little sponges. They just absorb everything. Yeah. Mm. It's like moose. Absorb everything? Yeah. I feel like we just should say eats everything. Yeah, too. In fact, right before our podcast, he was eating snotty Kleenex. No, he was, he he knows he's not allowed to eat gra garbage like from the trash can. And he was inching towards, we walked into the guest bedroom, which is where we've been saying, while well, Mr. Kate has been flipping um, our bedroom. And like Jeremy and I, if we had to go one more night sleeping in a double bed, the two of us, there would be no podcast anymore because we would be broken up. And Jeremy's about to enter into a rant about how bad I am of a sleeping partner. You know, it's a, it's a treat to sleep with Lauren. So there's that. Thank and you. I just, uh, I would rather just get a couple twin beds. Bunk beds? Yeah. You want top or bottom? Oddly enough, top, but I feel like I should be in the bottom at this point. Definitely. Okay, then why'd you ask? What? Then why'd you ask? I don't know, because maybe if you wanted to be, you wanted the bottom bunk and I want the top bunk, then it's like, you know, when you like um, like a drumstick wing and someone likes a flatty wing, like when you're having pizza and wings uh, and you're like, oh my God, we're meant for each other. Or how like you like pizza, but you don't like crust. So I eat your crust. Right. Like I thought we were gonna have a moment like that, but we didn't. I, I, at this point, I think I probably would do the bottom just because I'm I, the last thing I needed. You would to crush me and I would die if no, something No, I just happened. like, I, I just think to myself, what's the headline read? Like uh, awkward six foot four man falls off top bunk while bedroom being remodeled dies. Dies. Yeah. That's not the way you want to go. You know, I, have you thought about the way you would like to die? Um, Besides like in your Sometimes, sleep. kind of. Okay, walk me through it. Um, Is that a normal thing? I think so, right? I Not sure. I There was a period in my life where I watched a lot of that one show where it was like 101 ways to die or something. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Those titles never do it for me. Oddly enough. And I think that's a good thing. Mm, maybe, yeah, I don't know what that says about me. But no, I definitely want to go quickly. Well, yeah. Like, no, but like, I think that's that's just like the way to go. Like like thinking about drowning or something like that. Ooh, how old do you think you'll be when you die? Oh God, I don't know. This was not on the topic board. This was not on the topic board, yeah. I mean, hopefully like late 80s. Late 80s. Would love to make it to a 90. Really? I don't think ever anyone's, no one in my family has made it to a 90. I think I'll be out at like 67. Yeah, if you keep this lifestyle up. Right, well, hopefully- Maybe it's a blessing that our McDonald's got uh, demolished. Okay. Demoed. All right, anyway, I think like 67, <laughs> maybe 76, I don't no. know. No. Something feels right about those numbers. No, what the fuck? What? No. Why? No. What? You can't die before me. I don't, okay. I want to die before you. Oh, well, I mean, me too, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, no, I was like, no, well, I mean, it's so hard to say because you're adopted um, because <laughs> your mom's mom lived until 98. 
Right, but, but she, it's not blood, right? right? So you can't even, cause like, I keep being like, oh, you're gonna live forever. Like I'll for sure get to die before you. But then I realized that she's not blood. There's so a part tough. of me that says, even if I worked my ass off, didn't really exercise, didn't do that much of healthy things, I'd still make it to like 103. I think so too. Yeah. I'm a fragile little like noodle flapping in the wind. You know what I mean? Like I remember I'm just- three minutes ago when you're like, I want to get in a fight. I took it back. I want to punch someone. I want to get in a fight. Once again, I will present that opportunity to you. I'm <laughs> sure. Positive. I also have been just like working on my like kicks so much. Obviously that's not part of boxing. That's like part of the other side of fitness we do. But like I he my trainer's always like, oh, that would break a rib. And I'm like, oh bitch, I want to break a rib. Back to our bedroom. <laughs> So I, you, it's so funny. You're, um, I'm surprised that you even remotely would be interested in having anyone come in. You must trust Mrs. Mr. Kate. Yeah, I mean, I, and here's the other thing too, is that like, I have gone through the process of flipping every single goddamn room in this house and I'm sick of it. I don't want to do it. And it takes me so long. I'm so particular and I'm so, like when you do that process yourself, you can easily fall into the trap of like it never feeling done, it never being a hundred percent. Yeah. Where when Mr. K comes in, like you guys walk through a design and inspo picture, pictures, and like it, it's they work, they bust ass for like five, middle, six next? days, and there is a beginning, middle, and an end. And she leaves, and you're like, oh shit. And so she literally walks out the door, and we have a brand new bedroom that is completely decorated. And so like all that's really left is moving our shit back into the bedroom, like my makeup onto the new vanity and stuff like that. And it's it's just done. I, right, I just am surprised that you can allow yourself because I know you. Yeah. I know you. And yeah. you know why though? Because you have a gift to be able to do things well. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing for me. When I have a general interest or even a little bit of the ability to do things, I just, I'll just do it, which is a bad trait. You bad should, trait. Yeah, let it go. Bad trait, you bad, 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 bad trait. Yeah, yeah. like my, my boss was going to ask me today and I could tell he was like kind of seat into the idea of just like, you know, probably got to, you know, bring some people in, some junior folks. And I could tell, I was very explicit. I don't want to manage people. I don't want to manage people. I don't want to manage people. I just want to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. And at a certain point in time in your career, you kind of have to start managing people eventually. Yeah. And I refuse because- No, that, no, no. What? Put me Put me on email with your boss. No, uh-uh. Put me on email with no. your boss right now. No, anyway, I just I just don't want to, I just rather do it myself. No, you're going to die. That is how you die. That's Maybe you will I, die at 67 because you, you're going to do that shit. That's why I still don't uh, manage and I refuse to get an assistant because I wouldn't let them do anything. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I know. Dumb as shit. No, but like you say it with pride. That's dumb. It's not. What do you mean? That's pride? dumb. It's That's dumb. dumb. I know. That's dumb. I know I'm bad. That's dumb. I know. You know what a new exercise that is, is working for me though. Hmm. I think this has helped for everybody. So <laughs> when you are about to do a task that you don't want to do, uh -huh. and you know it's going to take like a lot of time, mm -hmm. instead of just putting it off to the end, do it with as little care as possible and just get the minute, like, like let's say you had to like write an email that like it's going to take a lot of thought. Like instead of going, okay, dear, hmm. To whom it may like, just hop in and just be like, "Hey, the, I know it was awkward, but we got to do this, 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 and make sure to like remind, remind me about this, this, this." Mm -hmm. And it's like ninety percent of the way there every time. Oh, I see. Yeah, and just don't freak out about it. it it's been my like life hack. Oh wait, but do you go back to it or no? That, yeah, like you go, you just do it real quick, as fast as possible. Yeah. like kind of do it. Uh -huh. You get to the end, and you go, "Okay, what action needs to change?" Oh, and you'd be I shocked see. at how close you are to almost being done. Right. As opposed to like putting it off to the end. I feel like that. I think of all like the garbage ass papers that I wrote in university though. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if that quite applies. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine being a teacher reading the same paper 35 times? Nope, absolutely the fuck not. Nope. I, nope like nope, you would nope. either glaze over halfway through and they would all suck mm -hmm. or you'd get more particular. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you want to be the beginning, the middle, the end. I think the middle would probably be the best. And then the beginning and the end would be the worst. I mean, you might get the highest grade though at the end because people just be like, don't give a fuck, don't give a fuck, A, mm -hmm. A, A, but what A. If you, what if like it was a decent paper, but like you, you like the three papers before it kind of said that thing better? I don't know. This is why I'm a sens oversensitive creator and not a teacher. I think you'd be an oversensitive- Everything. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. 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 Definitely. 100%. There's, there's, there's a handful of careers that I could legitimately never do. Like I could never work with animals because I would be sobbing. Yeah. Yeah. every moment of every day. And so that's why it's like nice to be able to like go and volunteer like, you know, a few days on, you know, it, because it, I, I emotionally cannot handle that. Yeah, it's tough. I cannot handle it's it. It's definitely tough. Um, okay, so dry shampoo is like my known best friend. I'm right here. Uh, okay, well, um, I'm right um, here. 
Wild to Nine featuring Jeremy you're, and you're, you're, Dry Shampoo. You're like a little yes. You're like you're just like a little less useful. Wild to Nine my with Lord hair. DIY and Dry Shampoo. Okay, yep. I've been trying to go as long as I can in between washes, so it truly has yeah, yeah. not left my side. It, I'm going on six days today, <laughs> like legitimately it's six like days. It's like prepare for this ad. <sighs> While I love this little cheat code of dry shampoo, by the fifth day, I can feel the effects of product buildup weighing my hair down as it currently is right now. And that's where Waze Detox Shampoo comes in. After one use, I immediately felt relieved of all the buildup living rent-free on my scalp. It makes such a difference in the feel and look of my hair. Way was created by celebrity hairstylist Jen Atkin to create the first socially connected hair care brand. They have a full collection of cruelty, sulfate, and paraben-free hair care, body, and fragrance products. Okay, so Jeremy hates apple cider vinegar, like any kind of salad dressing that has in it. He's just like, he's he leaves the room. So we were both super surprised that it smells so good, even though the detox shampoo has apple cider vinegar Who in it. Who enjoys the smell of apple cider vinegar? You know, I actually don't mind it at all. Like just like raw apple cider vinegar, I really don't mind That's- it disgusting. So most shampoos have a hard time hiding that smell, but Waze's signature scent of rose, bergamot. Rose, it's ro- rose. It's rose, right? Yeah. Bergamot, lychee, cedarwood, and white musk cover it right up. When you're ready to undo some damage, hit the reset button with the Way Detox Shampoo. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com. That's the way.com. Wow, that's funny. Sorry. T H E O U A I dot com and use code WT9 to get 15% off your entire purchase. You know what I was thinking about? How oh. weird must it be? Why do we drink Dopa Chicos? I don't know. I'm just going to say, I don't know why we do that. <laughs> How weird it must be to be a kid right now and, like, for the first time in like 12 months, go outside, hang out with other people, not be in school. This is the, this is the weirdest summer yeah. in existence. Oh my God. Like I, I heard kids yelling and running and like screaming at each other in the outside the other day. And mm-hmm. like, this is a foreign feeling watching children just like wrestle each other in the yard. Right. And like be within six feet of each other. I think we're about to have the most socially awkward five years worth of people that have ever existed. No, but it's, it's the younger generation, like the middle schoolers yeah. and the elementary kids who like missed out on like a a very shaping moment of their life. Yeah. Um, again, sponges, little sponges. But you know Are what, children just sponges? Kind of, but yeah. then you, I feel like now that they're super weird and awkward and it's pretty wide and uh-huh. happening kind of everywhere, uh-huh. we're just gonna feel even older and weirder and more different than these kids by the time they're our age. I saw this meme on Instagram the other day and it was like, um, whenever I see, it. Whenever I see people in their twenties with kids, I'm like, oh, congratulations, your teen pregnancy. Like you're so strong. You're like, no. And you're like, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually 27. And this is a very normal age to have kids. Like you're the odd one out. And I'm like, oh, your teen pregnancy. That's terrible. Good for you. I can't <laughs> believe that if I was my, my mother's age, when I had a child mm-hmm. at my age now, I'd have like a 14 year old. My friend from high school was just saying, she's like, I'm gonna be like 41 when my kid can go out and legally drink. She is like, that is insane. That's weird. That is insane. Also cool, but that's weird. That is insane, I yeah. Have a, I have a very not on topic topic to talk about that I was thinking about today. And okay. I can't decide where I think you're gonna fall. Actually, I know exactly where you're gonna fall. Okay, go But ahead. now let's figure out if we're weird okay. or if everybody else is weird. Okay, okay. Is it okay? And is it standard and is it acceptable for if, let's say you have a friend, mm-hmm. they come to you and they say, I have a secret. Mm-hmm. Most important secret in the world. Yeah. You can't tell anybody. Okay. What do you tell them? Yeah, of course I won't tell anyone. Can you tell your boyfriend or girlfriend? What do you mean? Can oh, I- can you tell your boyfriend or girlfriend? Right. Um, I think it depends. I'm so glad you said that. Yeah, I really think it depends. What do you think? Um, I mean, I, I think it's like, if someone's like, my boyfriend was such a fucking dick and they did this. You know what I mean? But like, but don't tell anyone. Cause like, I don't want our other girlfriends to like judge the relationship and I don't want to get back to so-and-so. But like, I think that there's a world where those like quote unquote harmless things. Right. Are you're able to share with your significant other? And I, th- I think also too, it's only okay if you have full and complete trust in your significant other, because there's also been times where like, I think about something that might feel small and like, uh, not that important to someone, to like a friend, but I'm like, oh, I know that they'll tell their significant other. And so I'm not gonna tell them because I know that I'll probably get back to their boyfriend or girlfriend. Yeah. That get- that just happened. That just happened literally oh, like, yeah. yeah, a couple months ago. Yeah. And that like, I don't know, it's, 
it didn't make me feel any kind of way to be honest. Cause I feel like everyone does that. Right. But even though we're still all surprised when we found out it happens. I, like, oh, I guess. And then they told this person, that person told this person. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then what was the answer? It depends. It really depends. Okay. Cause I think there's some things that are like so personal or like serious, you know what I mean? That it's not something that needs to leave you whether it's for their safety or because it's something that they are really, really seriously serious about. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't even know how to put that into words. Like if, I don't know, if even if someone opens up to you about something like crazy vulnerable, right. like I think you just have to be, um, I don't know, you have to be mindful of it. Well, of course, I guess. I just feel like there are very few secrets that are told to one of us that we don't immediately tell the other person. Okay, well now you're just outing us for everyone that's ever told us a secret. But at the same time, <laughs> okay, but that's only the case because you don't go around and tell the things that I tell you and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. So like, that's why it works. Right, like it ends here. Right, Yeah. but I genuinely think that anybody after a certain age that tells somebody something, it's it's as if they're just telling their boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh yeah. yeah. Also I think like too, when relationships get more serious as you get older, yada, 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 like people become a package deal a lot of the times. Yeah. And I mean, like obviously everyone still has their own individual friend groups and stuff, but like as things get more serious with couples, everyone be kind of like, I don't know, it becomes a package deal. It's like, you guys are one. I mean, that's, isn't that why like you, uh, um, a court can't force a husband or wife to like testify against each other? And that makes total sense. Yeah. That makes total sense. Right. I, yeah, I, I think that it is common law, but at the same time, I, I'm right with you because there's certain, some information that I feel like the significant other out of context is burdened with or yeah. feels some type of way yeah, about. Yeah, 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 burdened. And then oh it my just God. becomes a bigger thing. Right. So I think, I think the important thing here is that if you're not gonna tell your significant other, there needs to be no secret that they know about. Like they can't know that you have a secret that you haven't told them. Oh yeah, I would know that. Right, because then you'd go crazy. You were like, oh my God, well, you've never not told me something. Like, what could it be? Right. And so that's probably the most important part. You're one of those individuals that have to tell a secret to everybody. When you learn something, you have to share it with someone. You have to share with one person. And it's usually me or your mom or something. Mm -mm, No, when you Mm -hmm. know, when you know a piece of information, you share it with, you share it with one person. That's absolutely not true. I disagree. Well, because I am the holder of the secrets and you know some of them, that doesn't mean that you know all of them. Okay. And so that would make that untrue. How about this? Do you do you know people who, who have to tell someone when they find out a piece of information that's like private? Yeah. Yeah. And also too, like, I think sometimes when someone tells you a secret and then like, just say someone told you something and you told your mom, you know what okay. I mean? And that completely ends there and it'll never make it circle back to anyone in the proximity of the same atmosphere. Uh-huh. Does that make any sense? It does. That's yeah. why you like, you open up your life to the person sitting next to you. The airplane. airplane. Yes, yeah. exactly what it is. That's right. exactly what it is. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that doesn't justify I, it. There's probably but. some people that I sat next to on an airplane somewhere that know like the deepest, darkest thing about me that like, I don't even remember at this point. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I sat next to this pilot once on a plane. And a pilot? A pilot, yeah. That'd be fun. He was um, he was flying to wherever his next thing was that he would have to fly from. So I had Moose on my lap just as an ESA flying with me. The ultimate conversation started on a plane. What? The ultimate conversation started on a plane. Oh, the ultimate conversation yeah. started. And so Moose was, um, we were, it was like a really small plane where there was two seats on one side and one seat on mm, the other side, yeah. the really small ones. And um, Moose had his big old head kind of resting over the armrest onto the other guy's side of the seat. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, he has a giant head and I'm like trying to keep be contained, I'm so sorry. And he loved dogs, like absolutely loved dogs. And so we like obviously started talking and I went into the most in-depth summary of all of my traumas and emotional issues that led me to having anxiety and how Moose was a support animal for me. And like, obviously it started with Moose, but like the, he probably knows more than my current therapist does. Wow, that's how many, and you've had a few sessions at this point. And I've had a lot of sessions. Just one airplane ride. A lot of sessions. And this there is a 45 sh- minute airplane ride. There should be a service where you hop on a flight with a therapist. Ooh. And that's part of it. You buy their ticket. No, 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 it, it can't be a therapist because you're not. No, 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 it's a random therapist. Doesn't need to be a therapist. It doesn't need to be a stranger. Okay. Because that's the therapeutic value of it. You're right. Yeah. And you know what, there's something that, like, Something about it not being scientific. You don't even think, you don't second guess the That's way you That's what I'm saying. It things. can't be a therapist because wow. then you're thinking about like how they're analyzing you. Where yeah. the therapy in this is that you're telling someone random that doesn't care, that has no opinion, that's never gonna tell anyone. Are you 100% honest to your therapists at all time? Z- yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. No, no, I'm not. Actually, no, I'm not. Why? There was there. So sometimes like they give you specific exercises. Okay. And if you're supposed <laughs> to do it five times a week, 
I might do it four times in one day to get it all done in one day. Cause I like slacked and didn't like do the homework. Right. Um, and so in those moments, I am not honest. Got it. Okay. But for the most part I am like, I feel like a lot of people struggle to open up about like things that have happened to them or trauma or whatever it might be. That stuff, I'm an open fucking book. I'll, I'll tell you anything there. Like, yeah. because they can only help you as much as like what you give them to work with. Oh, I'm right. And therapy's fucking expensive. And so like, I wanna get every single minute of my time worth the dollar amount that I'm paying. And so like, I give them everything. It is expensive, which is why betterhelp.com. <laughs> yeah, it's like, do we have a better help sponsor WTI. here? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I get that. I definitely get that. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, yeah, it's weird. Um, Good for you though. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, on, in, in other exciting news tied to airplanes, we're going on vacation. A oh my a follow, God. A follow up to the Zaggy vacation? Or yeah. This, like, oh yeah, follow to Zaggy. Po this yes. podcast spawned a vacation. This podcast literally spawned a vacation with, no, this podcast confirmed a vacation. Cause remember we talked about it and then we circled back on the it's podcast true. about it. It's true. Cause we weren't sure if either couple was like actually serious about and going. Because it started on the podcast or was confirmed on the podcast. Business Does that make expense, it a business expense? Baby. Yeah. And yes. let's the IRS listening, then it's not. Then it's, no it is. Cause I'm making content the whole time. The fuck? What about me? I, <laughs> <laughs> what about me? What about me? Um, I had someone write me a message the other day where they thought that I got the money refunded by the government when like influencers say, oh, it's a write-off. Oh, it's a business expense. Um, they thought that I got all the money reimbursed. You just say it's a business expense? What? It's a business expense, so it just comes back. Yeah, so it just comes back to you. Cause they were like, oh, influencers just do hauls because they get all their money back. So it's a business expense. And I was like, ma'am, I wish that is how it worked. That would be real nice. I genuinely think that like, that, that's the, the American education system, big L right there. Big L. Yeah. Yeah. But like, what class would you learn that in? I'm not sure. How to expense things for influencers that they use in their content. Like, like business exp I have business expenses there for anyone who like- owns I guess, yeah, yeah, you're right that you, that it's just the tax and I, it's not. There's yeah. no bigger flex than when I used to tell people that I did my own taxes and like did them correctly and have not been audited. That's like, the, that makes me nauseous. That, that thing alone, you can just separate people right there, like willing to take on their own taxes. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, I don't do it anymore. Yeah. I gave up. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I'm not responsible enough for that. Well, no, you've made my taxes so fucking complicated that I can't do them anymore. That's so nice. Um, but yeah, we're going on vacation and I haven't been on an airplane since December, 2019. Holy shit. I haven't been on it since February. Of yeah, you flew year. in February, I think, um, of 2020, but it's been literally since 2019. Since Summer I've been on an airplane. is here. Yeah. I'm gonna look fly as fuck. In two and a half weeks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's I'm, gush, boob. I'm not concerned. Hey, caption caption person, shboob, S-H-B-O-O-B. -O -O We've been struggling with our captions lately. Shboob, S-H-B-O-O-B. -O -O it's getting laughable how bad they are. It's real bad. Like, I got called Laura for an entire episode once and it was rough. In fact, if you see the captions being uh, painfully incorrect, feel free to call it out. Oh yeah, let us know. We're not over here typing. It's actually, it's actually helpful for feedback to get them a little if more actually, accurate. If we could get some minute markers too, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, we'll just <laughs> Super put helpful. The, put them on the editing <laughs> side. Yeah, okay, got it. You know, it's everyone's podcast. It's everyone's podcast. Yeah. yeah, we're all here in it together. We'll sell an NFT, it'll be fantastic. It'll be, well, I don't know what that one is, back that up pre-NFT, but okay. So I'm very excited for Cabo. I'm so excited. I haven't been in years. I went maybe three years ago. I also haven't been on Four a vacation away from Los Angeles. When when did we go last somewhere? Uh, would have been two falls ago. Holy shit! I know. It's been forever. Did you go on a lot of vacations growing up? Yeah, we did. Where'd you go? We went to Florida a lot. Um, we went to um, uh, Mexico a lot. We did a handful of cruises. We went to oh, we did we did like a few places in Europe. We did uh, Paris and London. Um, I'm probably missing so many. Oh, we did a, oh my God, we did a road trip where I slept literally 16 hours a day every mm. day. I was miserable on that road trip, but we went to a few like random states. So do you think, let's say in a world we have a kid, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're, you know, young and spry. At what point in time do you think, huh, a road trip would be fun? Because that can't, that's not something that's in my vocabulary. You know what? There's some people, I was just talking to Daniel Prada about this and he loves road tripping, like loves to do it by himself with friends. Like he's down. Like, I think it's just either in you or it's not. Yeah, no. Not it's, in, it's not in us. No, it's, <laughs> it's not, not. But like, does that, do, so do you think you're born and you're like, I like, I like road trips. Maybe, or maybe you just have like some kind of positive association with it growing up. Yeah. 
I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. But yeah, my parents were like, I feel like I got super lucky because a lot of times parents go on vacation and leave their kid at home. Whereas I got to go on a lot of vacations. I feel like I'm missing. We did a lot of Florida. We did a lot of Mexico. We did, oh, we did a few um, California trips too, actually. As oh. I got a little bit older, we did Monterey, San Diego. Um, you guys are bougie. Sandy, uh, Santa Monica. Bougie. Oh, we did San Francisco. Bougie. I, got, I mean, I got super lucky. My parents, my yeah. parents like to travel and they like to bring me along. They liked me enough to bring me along with them. <laughs> Lauren, I like to bring you along for my vacations too. That's so nice. Yeah, mostly because half of them are business expense for you. So. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Um, I'm so I'm so glad that Zaggy is on the same page oh. as us in terms of relaxation versus adventure. What's like, what's your ideal breakdown of percentage? 80, 20. 80, 80, 20 what? Relaxation, adventure. Oh good, 80 yeah. relaxation. Oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. And that didn't used to be the case. I like huh. when I, I think back to like when I was in Europe right before I came out to California, like for the first time. Mm -hmm. And we, every single day we had every fucking activity you could possibly oh, imagine. Oh, jam back into a day. It. Really and loved I, it. And like, that was just, I, I just found energy at all times, uh -huh. all, at all times. But th also there's something about, I think everyone should travel broke. Okay. Like, I think you should literally not, and it might be hard if you have a lot of means and have to choose it, but like, there's nothing, I, I will never, have a more fond memory than like in college, just not having a lot of funds, but just figuring it out. I keep thinking you're saying funds, like like fun, fun plural. Well, like that too. I'm just not having that much funds. No, well, I know I had, I had, but, but I had so much fun. Like I genuinely don't no think- No funds, I but genuinely lots of don't fun. think I will ever have as much fun mm -hmm. as I had when I had no funds. Does that, does that mean things are all downhill from there and you're just not happy no, now it's just with like, me? Okay. Uh, uh. No, it's, it, mm. <laughs> it, there's just a bit about this. Like, I mean, can you imagine going, let's let's find a hostel when we get there? That's just not us anymore. But at the time that's that found, that sounded like the most fun thing in the world. Okay. Right? I mean, I'm just such an anxious individual and I'm an anxious traveler. Right. And that's just like day one, that's never been my journey. I wonder if I could like hop back into it though. I don't think you could. I think I could. I don't know. I think I could. I think your level of need for cleanliness. I think, you, you know the thing is, I think it would have to be a choice. Like, oh, I mean, yeah. Well, cause also you can set your expectations too, to be like, right. I know what I'm getting myself into. Well, let's say I was like single tomorrow and sold a company for $3 billion mm -hmm. and just like it, what was making more, it didn't make didn't make any like sense to like make more money. Like, you had enough, mm -hmm. you had plenty. To me, I think it'd be almost fun to just reset, start at zero again. I don't know. I No matter how much money we make, like, you will always be bougier than me. And I, I just don't know. I don't know, Spoop. In like nine out of 10 times, yes. But the one out of 10 that you're more bougie than me, holy shit, you are bougie. <laughs> like you make up for that. No, that is absolutely not true. Bro. That is, bro, don't tripping. bro me. You are tripping. You are tripping, bro. Anyways, I'm excited to relax. I'm excited to lay by the pool. I'm excited to like go and eat good dinner. I got I'm excited so to eat many tequila. Hawaiian eat tequila. shirts. They're all hideous. Lauren's going to hate every single one of them. Guess so who's not having sex on vacation? You guys are going to love it. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Why would you do that? And that'll Why? Be the, that'll be the time I post every day. Why? Just to like get my dad vibes out. You have dad vibes every single day. Well, I'm going to double down. So Cabo happening, first time on an airplane in forever. Um, we'll probably need the help of prescription medication to get myself on the plane, but it's going to be great. It's a Hour and a half flight. It's, I know it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be, I'm actually um, more anxious. I'm an, a more anxious person in the airport and like the anticipatory anxiety on like the Uber and like the couple hours before we leave than I actually am on the airplane. Cause like once I'm settled, I'm good. I'm not someone who freaks out over turbulence. It's like, which is the most backwards thing I feel like in the entire world. Yeah, kind of. Um, but it's it's all the stuff leading up to the airplane that makes me anxious. I have to go do a um, global entry meeting when we get there. So I have to get there very early. When, uh, are you kidding? No. On the day that we're traveling? It's, you The only you can only do it like when you're about to do an international trip. You're fucking Otherwise, kidding you me right like now. Six month, yeah, no, I'm not. I'll go by myself. Oh, great. Okay, and then I'll go with Zach and Maggie, perfect. Yeah, great, yeah, actually, that'll be fine. <laughs> I, I would prefer, I would, Lauren is the most difficult individual to travel with. I really am. I mean, it would be easier to smuggle a, a kilo of heroin. Yeah. I don't even know what a I, kilo of heroin would look like, <laughs> but it would be easier to get through an airport than her because I don't know what her visa is, but no one knows what it is. I'm a certified alien. There's it literally says alien on my papers. There's no line for her. It doesn't exist. And, and also Lauren is in her worst mood when she's talking to anyone at an airport. 
That's not true. Only when they're bullying moose. You're very confrontational when it comes to moose. When it comes to moose, yeah. yeah. But I'm if it's just me, if it's just- <laughs> Like when we get to Canada and your mom goes, oh my God, hi. I'm like, thank God, please. <laughs> help take me. Her. Just take help her. Help me. She's being so mean. Yeah. Only when someone's coming for my child. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You know? No, I do. I just, you know, it, eh, eh. You're just, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally mm -hmm. fine. Um, I had another sensitive moment today. I, I'm not even near my period. I've been so sensitive these past couple of days. I don't know what's wrong with me. Just a sensey bitch. That's what Remy and I call each other. It's just sensey bitches. I can tell that the people of Wisconsin aren't as accustomed to hearing people call themselves bitches. Um, like you just throw it around all the time because they're like, uh -huh. it's kind of weird how she always calls her friends bitches. Isn't that mean? It's it like, is the highest form of flattery. It's- If it's, someone calls, calls like, me their bitch. Well, also, oh, well, I guess context is everything here, but. <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like I'm like, I tease and push back and I'm like more sarcastic and hard on people. I mm. really enjoy, unlike the obvious thing you'd think, but like, I'm sure you'd be super nice to people you really like. Yeah, actually like I fuck with them more. Right, you're I'm, the most teasy to the people right. you like the and most. And my favorite is like the people that don't really understand my personality that watch Roy, this podcast. Roy. It's the one in a hundred that are like, oh my God, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jeremy's like really mean to them. Yeah. Like, I like that, that actually, um, that actually sets the bar for how much he likes that person. So now every single time I'm super nice to somebody. Yeah, they're gonna be like, oh, Jeremy fucking hates that person. <laughs> Great. So anyway, so here's my sensitive moment of the day. So I went to the mall today for the first time in forever. Really? And this is disgusting and I'm judging myself for it, but I had to wait in a line to buy Crocs. Yeah, that tracks. For a video. And I was like, please to Lord, please on everything that I am. Just, please no one see me. Okay. Please. Um, because I have just talked so much shit about Crocs, and then wait. So why did you have to get Crocs for a video? What, what video? I so Balenciaga and Crocs just came with a collaborative uh, Croc, and it's a heeled Croc. And I'm not kidding. The fact that this they, that we have to be being trolled right now. Like, there's no fucking world where this is something that we're allowing into our society. Like, I, on behalf of the society, I am offended and I'm not okay with it. And I, it's just wrong. It's wrong on so many levels. And so anyway, so I, um, I, I changed my video idea last minute and I am going to attempt a croc heel DIY in celebration for how stupid this new- And none of this is sponsored? Well, the way you're talking about it, definitely not. Yeah, no. <laughs> If it is, they it's, want their money back. It's not, it's super yeah. not sponsored. They're like, hey ma'am, thank you for the promo. And now, now that I've been talking about Crocs so much, I, all my ads, like Diplo has a Croc collaboration coming out and they have little mushrooms growing out of them, which I feel like is very fitting To be for fair, him. the only way for Croc to really win this is to give you and like offer you so much money that you have to put all of those words back into your mouth yep. and come up with a Croc collection. Yep. I mean, move. think about it. Like they have a Drew House collab. I mean, they have you a know for a fact, I'm ready for a Croc collab. If they want to sponsor this pod, a wild I will crocodile. I will wear Crocs on every episode of season two of this podcast and I'll do it for a very reasonable price. <laughs> It'll actually be a very like ideal price for you, Crocs. Yeah. Well, they did, they did a Post Malone Croc. They did, they're doing the Diplo Croc. They have a Drew House Croc. And here's my beef with it. One, they're fucking expensive. Holy shit. What? Wild Till Nine Crocs makes so much sense. Wild Till Nine Crocs. If you hadn't just sat here and shit talked them for an hour. Yeah. Ugh. Well, you just ruined that for us. No, cause I'm about to circle this all back. So, and, and one, I'm talking about them. So that means that they're relevant. Okay. Is that they <laughs> You're are- You're the litmus test for if it's relevant or not. Yeah, cause I'm okay. shit talking them. Yeah. Got it. They are so wildly uncomfortable when you don't have a sock on. And I don't understand where people are like, oh my God, they're so comfy. Like whatever, they're ugly, but they're so comfy. And- Oh no, oh my God. What, what, what? Holy shit. What, what? I've never worn a croc. Oh, let's just leave it like that. Let's just continue that. How have I never worn a croc? Like I have no idea what it feels like. There's also just something super personally for me unattractive about a dude in a croc. I think because like a croc on a baby is fine because it's like two inches long. Justice for men in crocs. Absolutely the fuck not. Lord. Men in crocs can stay at home. Yes, that's the point. But you can't wear them at home. Why not? Because. They're, ho they're house crocs. They're <laughs> I'm ordering house crocs after this. <laughs> Uh, if you are, get the fuzzy ones. The fuzzy ones look pretty good. No, you're not gonna walk around in my, cause you'll walk around in them and they'll look like clown shoes on you. And yeah, you'll make a big deal about it every single time. And it'll be so funny every Ugh, single time. I hate it. So, adorable. okay, I just, I, I just don't understand because they're fine with socks on and they're convenient because you can just slip them on. Like, yes, that's great. They're waterproof. Great, love that. But like, they're Aren't so- Aren't they filled with holes? Yes. So why would it matter if they're waterproof? It's like, I don't know. I saw a girl um, that was like on a water slide and had Crocs on. It's like, you know how water shoes used to be a thing? 
They probably still are a thing. I just haven't worn water shoes in forever since I I'm was like six. Not kidding. When <laughs> I was ordering a copious amount of Hawaiian shirts uh, and thinking to myself, wow, I'm already here. Shut I should up. just double down on some on some water shoes. No. <laughs> I didn't. No. But now I'm thinking to myself, I So you're that. a dad. You're officially a dad. Without the the, the non-furry child, yeah. Right, without the yeah. non-furry child. We have the furry child, but not yeah. the non-furry child. Yeah. Okay, so uh, official dad status. Yeah. Here you are. I've never worn a croc. Party of one. And I didn't order water shoes, but I can. I can fix both of those. Well, the croc can be the water shoe. I hope to God that croc reaches out and says, we're going to send you some crocs. That would be really nice because they're really fucking expensive. Okay, so again, really expensive, 50 bucks. Because they're and they're plastic and foam with lots of holes in them. I mean, those are made for seventy five cents. And they no are, question. you know, no question. You know that those are made like for if like and a Jordans half cent. Are are made for like yes. six bucks. Those are made for seventy five cents. These are the, right, yeah. exactly. They're like fucking three D printed. Because you know, one billion of them in, in a second. They make a billion yes. of them at a time. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And then they're so uncomfortable when you don't have a sock on, and they're only comfortable when you got a big fuzzy sock on. And, uh, sir, sir, your attention, please. <laughs> Jim was no. fading away on his phone. And oh, I can't even remember where I was in my croc rant. And that was a really good story, keep going. Yeah, so anyways, I had to wait in, oh, oh, sensitive, sensey, sensey bitch today. Had to wait in line for the crocs, doing the croc video this weekend. Hey crocs, you're not getting a pair, but the fuzzy ones are kinda cute looking. And so I may have to get a pair of those, but okay. So crocs, croc line at the mall. I have been to the mall in forever and I ran into someone who used to watch my videos. Cool. And. I'm gonna be super vulnerable for a moment here. And this probably makes sense to no one except for me. Um, actually, maybe I don't, I, I'm gonna just say it and then we can we can walk through it afterwards. Okay. When someone says, oh my God, I used to watch your videos <laughs> and it's a past tense situation. Yeah. It, it breaks my heart into 75 little pieces and yeah. it makes me so sad. And, and if like, you guys could stop saying that because then I have to then pick up said pieces. <laughs> So it's unfair to both of us. Yeah, and it's one thing if people were like, oh my God, like like you raised me. Like yep. that's one thing. Cause I'm like, oh cool. Like I was a part of like a, a big part of your life. Like that's so cool. Like whether you watch or not. And it also doesn't insinuate that like, you don't like, you don't fuck with me anymore. You know what I mean? And it, it's, it makes me so sad. It makes me so sad. And, but you, like, you know what I do like is getting the comments where it's like, hey, like I like used to love your videos and I stopped watching and then now I'm back and I love everything and it's been great. And like, those are very encouraging. And I love getting those so much. And it's the most like heartwarming thing in the world, but God damn, I've gotten hit with the, I used to watch your videos a handful of times this past week. And it makes me very sad. Let me um add on that from my end. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I think some people forget that uh, when we get them with this podcast, like they see you several times throughout the week and they don't really see me unless I'm in your story. And you know, like that thing with babies, like object permanence, if they can't see it, it doesn't exist. Right. I think some people think I just sit here and just wait for the next episode. Oh, that's right. And so I was speaking at some conference and I never post on social media. Yeah. And I did, I just reposted someone who was talking like during my segment that I was like speaking to all these, like it was literally execs industry and execs yeah. of, across the, I was the only like person that actually spoke English like in a nature. Well, that was your presentation. Like, my, my native tongue was English. Nobody else was speaking English. Of course, everyone was speaking English. Thank God for me, because I- No, but like you were doing the presentation right. on behalf of like the US, right? right. This met, yeah, well, not on behalf, but like, yes, that, that was my point. Like it was cool to be able to do it. Long story short, reposted it. And I'm not kidding, a half a dozen DMs were like, oh, I forget that like, um, you like have like a job <laughs> or like, oh, I forget that like, oh, you could possibly be respected in some capacity that's not attached to, to your the girl, podcast. To your yeah. podcast. I'm like, yeah. what? The, did, when you typed that out and hit send, how did you think that would make anyone feel? Right, right, but, I know. And I could tell a few of them were like, oh my God, I forget that like someone might respect you. Someone said that? Like uh, something along the lines of just like, uh, oh, oh, this is when I get to throw my punch. No, see, that's This why is I'm, when I throw my punch. I'm not kidding, I read it and I was like, I can't show Lauren this. Cause be she will go look and see if that yeah. person follows her. Yeah. She will She will be- Remove passive, follower. Remove, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's more protective of me than I am by yeah. far. But it's, it's. why would you say that? I know, and it's so hard because I know a lot of people have such good intentions, but uh, it leaves you with a lasting burn. You're like, thank you. Yeah, th thank you, but like- Not thank, thank you. you? I mean, no. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, it hurts my feelings every single time. And I think this is why I continuously forever will just have like so much self doubt because like that just pummels me all the time. I think to myself, wow, you had enough time to sit there and look at what I was doing and then make a comment. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, that's not how my brain processes that, but I love that for you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm too sensitive for this shit. I'm not kidding. There's so many days where I'm like, I'm too kids anymore. I'm too soft. I'm too soft. You are pretty soft. Yeah, I really You're am. You're a soft girl. I'm a soft girl. Yeah. I'm a sensitive bitch. It's fine. It's okay. I think this the next generation that's been inside for a year and a half is gonna be even more sensitive. Yeah. Well, maybe not though, because I feel like if you spent the last year and a half online, people are so fucking mean online. So maybe not. That is true. The internet's mean. Internet is fucking mean. It's also funny though. It is funny. It's yeah. very funny. Yeah. It's, it's, it's funny, funny and it's mean. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, and also I feel like never more, like if the Logan Paul Mayweather fight was an indicator of anything, mm. the the col- just the the clash of worlds. Right, oh my God. old and young and new and, and old and traditional. And it's in fucking insane. That was such a great fight. Oh my God, I, I can't believe that between now and when this goes live, we'll know if the TikTok and YouTuber fight goes wait, up. Wait, but like who do you, so you don't think it's gonna happen? I don't know, maybe it will. Okay, let's say it happens. Who's okay, okay, wait, let's let's go through the scorecard. Hang on. Oh shit, I mean, okay, this was tweeted yesterday. So maybe. Okay, so YouTuber YouTubers versus TikTokers, battle of the platforms. Watch on Live My Live. Okay, so we've got Austin McBroom versus Bryce Hall. Um, How old's Austin? Mm, late 20s, early 30s. And how old's Bryce? 21 or something. I feel like Austin's starting to get grimy old man strength at that age. So, yeah. <laughs> we had this conversation, grimy yeah. old man strength. No, I, I genuinely feel like I can- It's like the six year old at the YMCA who can just like lift, lift crazy plates. amount of just weights. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But other than that, I'd say Bryce, but yeah, he's starting to get like probably grimy old man strength at this point. Yeah, maybe, Yeah, maybe. I, I also think that Bryce Hall has a, has a probably like a kind of a wild temper. I think they both have tempers, but I think Ooh. Bryce Hall's temper will- um, Oh yeah, and you don't want to like fight, you want to box. You want to box. It's the same way that Logan, when he fought KSI, like burnt out so quickly. Yeah. I could see that happening. Yeah. Okay, next we have uh, Gib versus Taylor Holder. I have no idea who Gib is. Taylor Holder, I think actually has boxing, boxing experience. Um, I, Best of luck on their match. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. next up we've got Deji versus Vinny Hacker. Like is that his know. real name, Vinny Hacker? No, no. I guess his name is Vinny. I don't, actually, I don't, maybe it is. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. He's like a TikTok. He's like well, one of like the TikTok. Is he an e-boy? I don't even know what that means anymore. Well, best of luck to them both. Yeah, I had a I had a slight moment of online beef with Deji. Have we forgiven him at this point? Oh, no. You're such a grudge holder. We forgive Deji. No, we don't what? forgive Deji. He's a, he was a dick. Deji? Deji, we just don't cross paths anymore. Oh, so I'm like, enjoy your life. Deji, you're forgiven. You're not forgiven. You're forgiven, it's fine. You're forgotten is what just, you are. Ready? <sighs> Jeremy, what the fuck? And it's forget. Okay. okay, next we've got DDG versus Nate Wyatt. DDG. Okay. I don't know who this people Yeah, are. me either. Okay, got it. Okay, Faze Jarv. Oh, you know what? I did this with Jordan Jones on her podcast and she knew everyone that I didn't know. And okay. so she really helped uh, fill in these blanks. Faze Jarvis from mm-hmm. Faze Clan yeah. and Michael Lee. Michael Lee sounds like a nice boy. Michael Lee is so nice. Um, he is besties with Nick and Sienna. Okay. And I have also done an event, remember that Converse event that I hosted in New York forever yes. ago? He was one of the dancers that was part of the event. He's a dancer? Yeah, he's a dancer. Dancer. Yeah, right? Dance around. Um, yeah, like a dancer versus a video game guy. Let's go dancer. Uh, never put the video game guys down. They got surprises. Okay, all right. And then um, the last match is Tanner Fox versus Ryland Storm. Tanner Fox. Yeah, Tanner Fox. He's a he's a wiry he individual. I think Rylan Storms is the one that dated Madison Beer for a bit. Yeah, no, but Tanner, he does that like competitive um, scooter stuff. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot more than meets the eye in that kid. Yeah, don't yeah. doubt the scooterers. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, don't doubt the scooterers. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got, got it. He's he also got has it. a great car collection. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. right. You went up with a uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, well, on that note, now that we've ranked all of these 20 year old TikToker, boxer, YouTuber people. <laughs> you know, oddly enough, I feel like we're starting to really have like a normal social life again. Oh my God, I know it's so nice. Any other week besides this week has been mm-hmm. great. This week has been like a- Busy. Can we get done with it? Yeah. Like I'm genuinely working in an environment with some of the smartest people I've ever worked with. Like me? Right, who else was, could I be possibly be talking about? <laughs> and then not as intelligent, but pretty good as well as the crypto.com folks. And uh-huh. I'm like, I, the only reason I'm still going is because the people around me are so good at what they do. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's driving me to be better, but at the same time, I'm ready for a few days off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I feel like it's Wednesday today. I feel like I can't breathe until Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, also um, fun, maybe fact, and whether we do this or not, still a good idea. We might have to do some, not live things, but maybe kind of live things. Ooh, yeah, potential live things yeah. in the works. And so I'd love to understand what topics would be interesting for us to discuss if we had to do a live thing. Yeah, I love that. Um, Are you nervous? I have to pee. So I do feel nervous because I have to pee, but um, the live is gonna be great. And also if you've made it this far on the podcast, um, 
drop. I feel like I feel like like let us let us know that you made it this far in the podcast by doing by, what? by saying what they want to see in life. <laughs> <laughs> by, by spelling moves in by the spelling comments. moves letter by letter. Hey, if you made it this far, uh, throwback, you a real one. And Latvia, I would never forget you. And oh, you know what? Oh, there and it is. What? I, I saw a little bit of, not hate, but a little bit of just animosity that yeah. I had mentioned a few places. So yeah. um, uh, South Africa, hi. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, Germany, mm -hmm, Norway, mm -hmm. the Netherlands. Italy. Italy. Uh -huh. uh, Canada. Can France. I was right about Ibiza. Um, let's see what else. You got two more and I have to be enough to go. Let's go. Oh. Two more. Two more. Um uh two more. Nicaragua. Okay, and Brazil. Great. Okay, bye. See you next week.